So you did it. You take your break, you're back, and you're ready to go for your content creation. Or streaming, whatever it is you take your break for. But you kind of realize that things aren't the same. You don't feel the same way. You, you're either a little rusty, you're a little tired, or you don't know where to start from. That's kind of where I'm at right now. My name is Salt Strafer, and I'm a content creator here on Twitch, YouTube, Snapchat, whatever it is. I'm on it. And I recently, just like you, took a very long break. And now that I'm back, I'm in the state of mind where it's like, okay, here I am. I'm back. But I don't really know exactly what I'm supposed to do. And or I'm kind of lost. I'm like a... Uh, like a deer caught in the headlights, essentially. I have all this stuff that I used to be able to do, and now I'm lost. So hopefully, by me talking about my current situation, I can guide you guys through how to recompose yourself after taking a long break. My name is Saul Streifer, and welcome to Solid States. So, like I said, Solid States is going to be a video series where I talk about, like, my little quick tidbits on situations that I'm currently in. And hopefully I can help you guys out in uh, going through this difficult time. So, you take a break. Good for you. Breaks breaks are great. As a matter of fact, I wholly uh, recommend them to everybody. If you're exhausted, if you're tired, if you're doing anything in life that involves you putting yourself, overexerting yourself, and or you get to a breaking point where you're tired burnt down so on take a break you're only human being breaks are fine even the greatest athletes the greatest players everybody takes breaks and vacations content creators take vacations all the time it's okay take care of you remember you matter you gotta take care of yourself so don't feel bad about taking a break that's number one um <laughs> so taking a break i i realized that i'm, I'm only a human being and I, there's only so much i can do and i really really needed that little break to uh essentially Move myself to a state of mind where I am healthily able to produce and or exist in my current state of mind without fucking stressing myself out. What that means is that I needed a break to bring myself back to point zero. Point zero being I'm ready to go, I'm rested, and so on. So hopefully you got yourself to state zero where you're, ex you're well rested and you're ready to go once more. So taking a break and then coming back recently, if it's been about a couple of weeks since I've come back, I've realized some things about myself and uh, about my community. Um, taking a break has made me realize that my community and the communities that I create for don't really need and or care so much about me in the way that I was stressing myself about like, what if I disappeared? What if I didn't do anything? What if whatever, right? And I realized that by putting that um, upon myself, all I did was stress myself out. And I've learned that the ocean is an immovable force. The content creation field is an immovable force. And it's going to move with or without you. So number one thing is if you feel like your community is going to you know, ignore you and not miss you, and if, as you're gone, know that that's just going to happen anyways. Whether if you're creating and you fall out of you know relevancy, and or if you stop, though the ocean keeps moving, the river keeps flowing, it's okay. So don't feel bad about taking a break, because regardless, the the field is going to go out without you. So it's okay. It's like it's like the F1 racing and or you know NASCAR racing where the drivers have to you know go in for a quick pit stop, right? Even these massively fast cars. I have to take quick, quick, quick uh, pit stops, and every other car just keep going. It's kind of like that in life, where you gotta understand that the community, especially my community, uh, for the most part, didn't really care that I left, and uh, things kind of went on anyways. So coming to that realization after coming back, um, it's kind of heartbreaking, but that's just kind of how the way things goes. So don't feel bad if you don't make a gigantic splash when you come back. Sometimes you need to re-establish yourself and or get yourself uh, comfortable with your surroundings so like i said i took such a long break i essentially forgot the kind of content creator that i'm supposed to be i came into the streaming industry as an idea as an idea of, of, of showing people 
to to play games and to do things you know in a way that is not as mainstream and or anti-meta that's kind of my thing now that i've been out of the space it's kind of like how was i supposed to maintain that and like maintain my happiness and or and so on so i've i've not only realized that my community and or the the people i was creating for were going to move on with with or without me i've also realized maybe the creator that i thought i was isn't the creator that I thought I that I know I can be. Essentially, I've kind of lost track of the creator that I was pre-break. And so I think that's something that's really important is reestablish yourself and finding that mindset of where you want to move forward uh, after your long break. So like I said, once more, I've lost my community and the community went on without me. And I've also kind of forgotten the content the kind of content creator that I was trying to be. So I'm going through that situation right now. And I think that's going to just take some time. And I think that's just kind of like getting your footing, uh, you know, in, in the sand, essentially, for the field of content creation and or streaming that you want to participate in. And that's just part of that's just part of life. <laughs> I've also, um, since I took such a long break, I've also low-key forgotten how to just act on camera. And this is a YouTube video talking about, like, how to help someone, but... I've low-key forgotten how to act on stream. Like, I'm just sitting there, and like, I forget that, oh, my God, I'm I'm not just playing by myself anymore. People are watching again. So all that training and time that I put into myself into uh, learning how to talk on camera, learning how to act, learning how to put on the show has kind of, like, gone the way of the bird. The bird that, that is the word? No. <laughs> essentially, I've just I, – I don't know how to act. I don't know how to act anymore, essentially, on stream. And that's something that I'm just trying to regain my composure in. Uh, like I said, I'm rusty, and you're going to be rusty too, and that's okay. So these three things I've kind of realized <laughs> coming back from such a long break, and uh, that's okay. That's part of the process. Don't feel bad about it, okay? So what can we do to help re you know remedy these kind of problems I'm going through? And or you may be, you may be experiencing as well. So what I suggest is that if... I, I, I seriously like this is actually a big one if you want to get yourself into the swing of things again uh into the swing of things once more i heavily suggest you start posting on tiktok post a clip and or a tiktok uh that you can create you know out of your own mindset post anything on tiktok just to get a new flow of eyes upon your brand and your your channel um, I think this is super awesome. It's super useful into getting new, new and fresh eyes upon your, your, your existence and letting the world know, hey, I'm back and or look at me. I'm kind of like into the swing of things again. Check me out. So posting a TikTok just because the ability for it to gain a reach of people is super, super useful. And I think that's going to be very helpful for people coming back from breaks. I would also suggest I have a list of things here, guys. Sorry about that. Just repost your socials more. If you have social medias like a Twitter, a Snapchat, and all that good stuff, just start posting again. If you were posting before your break, just double your posting activity. Uh, this way the world knows that you're back in action. If people who were following you before uh, either lost track of you and or just haven't seen you in a while, sometimes them seeing you again, creating content is pretty useful. So create some TikToks, getting some new exposure from fresh eyes. Uh, repost on your social medias, like on your Instagram, just start posting pictures. I would say just post pictures of yourself. Um, that way people can get, rec re rec people can recognize and or reestablish their, um, closeness with your face. I would say, I don't know the exact word for this. Um, but pretty much people can remember this, this, this thing that brought them there in the first place. They can remember that as well. And like I said, posting on Twitter, just posting about your ideas and or re-engaging with the community that you were either participating in and a new community if you're trying to jump into a new one. So just re rehashing yourself, re-blasting yourself into the social media game is a great way to get your footing uh, once more after taking such a long break. I would also, and I, I think this is great, I, I suggest that you create a short-term plan uh, of either your posting habits and or uh, events for yourself to get you into the proper state of mind that you were pre-break this way you can kind of get back to that same level uh, that you were before your break and that way you can start long you can launch yourself off that uh, presentation 
and or that idea that you had for yourself. Uh, this way you can get back to a certain point and or get to a point where you feel like you're going to be ready enough to start uh, expanding. Because just like I said, getting into the swing of things is kind of like an exhausting thing. And I know how hard it is for myself. I'm going through this right now myself. And I feel like these are kind of like some quick tidbits of how, how you can get back into the swing of things after taking such a long break. So um, the cool thing about this is that you'll be able to see it in practice with me. My name is Saul Stryfer. I'm a content creator here on Twitch, uh, YouTube, and all that good stuff. <laughs> I said Twitch, even though I'm a YouTube video. But, uh, uh, point is, I'm a content creator. I stream weekdays from 1 to 5 p.m. Check me out. And you'll be able to see how I'm doing after taking such a long break. You may be able to catch me acting all awkward and weird on camera. Because, like I said, I don't know how to act anymore. <laughs> so, the cool thing is, these are all little tidbits I feel like you guys can use. Um, hopefully, my story is something you guys can reflect on. If you're currently going through the same situation yourself at this moment in time, uh, you can le leave a comment down, you know, down below and let me know what you're kind of going through. Um, if you have any other advice for myself and or if you feel like any of the advice that I gave you is very useful, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, my name is Salt Striper, and uh, this is how to regain your composure after taking such a long break and or a solid state video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.